Hello everyone. Let's learn a bit about Unix. Unix is a family of operating systems that includes Linux, macOS, Android, etc. It's an interface between the user and the hardware. Most servers on the internet run on Unix OS. Windows is one of the main operating systems that don't use Unix. However, at one point or the other, you will need to use Unix commands to perform tasks like say deploying an app on a Unix server. That's why we need to learn basic Unix commands. It's recommended that you do your development on some form of Unix like macOS or Ubuntu. Diving into it a bit, the core of Unix is called kernel. It controls and manages everything in the system. The shell is the interface between the user and the kernel. It takes and interprets the command from the user and arranges for them to be carried out. You can pass these commands through a command line interface also called terminal. There are many types of cells, example bash, C cell, etc. Essentially, they are all used to run commands. And then there are applications built on top of it. They can have nice GUI, like say our file explorer here, where we can go to a particular folder and navigate and do stuff. However, as a software developer, you will be needing terminal to run commands to do all sorts of operations. You can find the terminal by going to the finder and looking for the terminal. Once you click on it, it opens a terminal window. This here is called a prompt. Depending on shell type, it could be a dollar sign or a percentage sign. Some computers, depending on how they are configured, can have the name of the user and your system before the sign. In Ubuntu, you can look for the terminal in the search box. Windows until now didn't really have a Unix cell, but a command prompt. They're not really the same thing. However, now they have a Linux terminal inbuilt. Even if you are on an older Windows, you can still use Unix cell by downloading this software called Git Bash. Another reason why you are encouraged to learn this on a Unix friendly OS. Anyway, let's learn our first Unix command called echo. Echo takes a string and when we hit enter, it prints it back to us. We can print it with string too. Let's go write echo hello world. Oh, looks like we are stuck here with because we forgot to close it with quotes. Well, here's a tip. When you are stuck on a command line, just use Ctrl plus C to get out of it. In some computers, you might have to try Ctrl plus Z or Z. Cool. Now go ahead and open the terminal and try echo yourself. 